Hey everyone, I am super excited to begin this long-awaited section on Firebase. This is going to be the largest project in this course. We are going to be building out a fully functional e-commerce app that you can tailor um, however you want to whatever needs you have. I'm going to be building out an app for an imaginary photographer selling their prints, and we're gonna call it Artable. All right, so let's take a look at the app, shall we? First up, we have, um, we're gonna be building two apps. One is the admin app, the administrator app here on the left. This is where we can add categories and products. And then the consumer facing app, which your users will be using to actually purchase them, all right? So we have our login screen here. We can log in, and this is all being done with Firebase authentication. Um, so we could log in here, or a, a new user can create a new user here, providing their username, email, and password. Um, or we can have the users continue just as guests, and they can say cancel here, and that will um, have them be logged in as a guest. They won't be able to uh, make purchases, but they can browse the products, okay? All right, so let's go back in, and I'm gonna log in here jb at jbb.com this is just one of my uh, test accounts one two three one two three i'm going to log in and you can see now that this changed to log out and we can browse our categories let's check out what we have in here with the animal photos we have all these really pretty pictures um, courtesy of unsplash.com you can get um, some really nice photos from that website as well as pexels and we can favorite some of these um, products. And as you favorite them, you'll see that they are starred and unstarred. And that's all in real time as well, um, using Firebase Firestore database. Uh, so you can see here we have a few starred. And if we come back here to the main helm, we can see up here in the uh, navigation bar, a button with a star. And if we click here, we are taken to my favorites, which shows all of the uh, products that you have uh, favorited. It's kind of like a wish list. All right, great. So once we are um, looking at our products and we find one that we want, we can select one here, let's say the lioness, and we get a detail view up here with the name, price, and description, and we can add it to our cart or keep shopping. I'm going to add this to our cart. So let's add that one, and then also this one of the elephant, which I really like, and say add to cart. And then from either here or the home, we can select our shopping cart, and this pops up, and you can see our two products that we have selected. All right, so now we're going to be using Stripe. And we are, when you use Stripe, you also have to have a backend, a server that handles the communication between um, your server and the Stripe servers. All right, and we're going to be using Cloud Functions for that. All right, and so we see our products here. You can uh, go ahead and delete one if you don't want it the pricing all updates accordingly. And here we have our payment methods. So this is all uh, test data using Stripe and you can select the uh, different card that you want or you can add a new card. All right, and I'm gonna go back. And then we, since we're gonna be shipping things to uh, people, we need also their shipping information. And so we can do that here with the select method and you put in all of your shipping information and say next and done. And then we are ready to place our order. Okay, so again, this is using the test data. Um, using Stripe, Stripe has an amazing uh, testing functionality and it says here that we were successful and that we, uh, that we made our purchase. So I'm gonna say okay and that takes us back out. All right, so that's pretty awesome. Now, as the owner of your e-commerce uh, store, you're gonna want to be able to manage the um, products, right? So here we have our admin app. Here we can add categories, and then we can also um, add products. So if I click on into here, and if I go to add product, we can add a product. Uh, I'm just gonna add um, that elephant again, put in a price, Enter a description, this is an elephant. Tap to add image and uh, grab the elephant here, say done and add 
product. And now you'll see here that once that's done and added, it gets automatically added to the, um, to the consumer app as well. So as you are adding products, people will be able to see those added and they'll be able to purchase those as well. All right, and that's about it. This is a considerable project. It's gonna take a lot of effort to finish, but at the end, uh, you will have a beautiful app and you will have learned a lot. We're gonna be covering Firebase, authentication, Firestore database, cloud functions, Stripe integration, and much more. I hope you are as excited about this section as I am, so let's jump in. See you in the next one.